Hello. Sorry. I, uh, I had to change the memory card. I was on the wrong one. Hopefully this works. Surely it has to, right? Because it's accessing the memory card now? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Hey, Rick. Hey, Ryan. Nice to see ya. How you been? I am so... What? Did I not put the right disc in? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hey, villain, how you doing? I swear, this game. Okay, we're in Agless. The screen is flickering. I'll fix it if it doesn't fix itself. <laughs> oh, nice, Ryan. I was reading your whole story. I hope that something comes of that. That would be like perfect. Good luck. Oh no, villain, you're two hours late for work. Hopefully that's not too big of a deal. I'll fix the PlayStation in a second. So there's news, <clears throat> potentially, that... Um... Hold on, PlayStation, I'll get you in a second. There's news that... Legend of Dragoon... I'm just gonna save again might be coming to like PlayStation Now or whatever and I would be so so happy for that to be the case so that we don't have to keep worrying about me going up here and jiggling these cords all right it seems fine if a little bright right now whatever that works hi Mort how are you doing friendo okay so once again we are doing this fight with the Kraken that's being taken over by Dort's dad. And I think that I know why it was glitching last week. Oh, he's totally just like coming off of the screen, the part that doesn't exist, okay. So we're gonna fight the Kraken. We're hopefully going to actually get the cutscene after the fight this time, and we're going to get to move on. Yeah, I mean, you take what you can get right at the beginning, right, Ryan? And then you just dump it as soon as you get something nicer. Hey, Stucky. Yeah, we're fighting this guy for the, what, the third time? The fourth time? He's a, he's a fancy squid man with handsome eyeballs. Also, he's my dad. <laughs> no worries. Okay. So, I think that the problem... We were having the same problem that you have with the glitch on disc 2 with Lennis. Also, let me move my mic a little bit so I don't have to shout so much. Um, no Dragoon. So we can't Dragoon or it's gonna glitch, I think. We just have to do this fight to the straight and narrow. Oh, um, I guess 
Maru, probably. Should use the Psych Bomb. Let's see how much dart does. Assuming I can do Crush Dance. It's not actually that hard. It's just annoying. Hey, <laughs> Blue Tongue. Nice to see ya. And then I looked down. <laughs> I forgot I was seeing how much dart did. Oh, well. Maru, you're gonna be the one to use it. Whatever. Psychedelic Bomb X. Oh, I have no idea what that number is because the screen is like unintentionally really bright. It was two teens something, which is kind of low, but whatever. It's still gonna do. Yeah, almost a thousand damage. Yeah, I guess that's true, Ryan. I... <laughs> I just, I wish that you could have stayed to begin with, if it was such a good fit, you know, that sucks. Where, where'd you go, bro? It's a little bright right now, it'll sort itself out because that's how this PlayStation do. Yeah, congrats, by the way, villain, on your first Last Guardian run. I was there for, I don't know, probably like a third of it. And then I left when it was about 10 o'clock my time. Because I had to go sleepies. So you all were just getting, like, kind of to the beginning of Cage Puzzle, basically, is where I left. Yeah, the first third was really, really tight. Hey, Draco. Nice to see ya. <laughs> yeah. Whatever time this is, is the charm. So it'll take a little bit longer to do this fight since we're not using Dragoon, but whatever. We need the additions anyway, except actually we don't because I equipped everybody with their strongest additions, which are already done. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh boy. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? I might kill one of the clowns just to like make turns go faster so we don't have to wait for both of their turns. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the saying, stocky, word for word. So yeah, my goal last week was to get through Xenobatus. And that was before we had even started the trials in Agless, so we're definitely getting through Xenobatus today, assuming that I can get through the Kraken. And I might even start to run a bit through Mayfill. Hey, Shade Drake, how you doing? I'm not wasting Al's attack on the Cleon. It's going to die to basically anything. If I do a full gust of wind dance, it's really strong. Yeah, you do, you do gotta love his peepers. They're the best part. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. And I, I actually think they're like tubes or something, and not his eyeballs. But you know, there, there is eyeballs in my heart. That's what matters. Oh, welcome home, Stocky. I'm glad that you made it and everything was fine. It's been tolerable here. We've been lucky. It's been hitting 89, 90, which is like uncomfortable-ish, but certainly very doable. It's been humid, very moist, which has made it kind of yucky, but. But thanks, by the way, for everybody who hung out uh, on Monday. 
I know it always gets confusing, like, when I say that I have a stream, but I'm not, like, here. Uh, because I was on the Team Eco Speedruns channel for, like, eight hours on Monday. Um, but thanks for hanging out, everybody. I think I'm gonna bring this other Cleon down as well to red, and then stop attacking it. Kraken's already in yellow, which is good. Hopefully we don't have to do this fight for yet another time. But yeah, so next week things are actually going to be, I think, a little bit different. This should bring McLeon to red, I think. Um, I haven't quite decided because I don't fully know my schedule yet, but we're either going to stream for three days or we're going to stream for the normal Tuesday, Thursday, but not have a speed run. I'm not sure yet. But it should be that next week is going to, at some point, and I'll post in Discord, uh, is going to be the Reptile Room stream, where you just kind of hang out with me while I clean things. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound exciting, but um, I'm going to be getting the reptiles out and cleaning their enclosures, and we're going to be redoing the huge enclosure, the 8x4x4. By four by four. Oopsie. So, oh thanks PlayStation, thank you, really, this is so easy to see, oh god, what am I looking at? Okay, I did it, though. I did crush dance when I couldn't even see the overlapping boxes, fam. So yeah, like, I'm just gonna be vibing in the reptile room, and I, I will do my best to set up the mic and the camera so that you can actually also see what I'm doing. <laughs> But it's just going to be like a just chatting thing. Because it's going to take me, I think, a pretty decent amount of the day to get all that stuff done. Cassie's enclosure is going to get done. Sam's enclosure is going to get done. And obviously the big 8x4x4. By four by four, which is, if you don't know how big that is... Hey, nice to see ya! How you doing? Thank you for the raid! What were you up to? Hopefully you're having fun. Welcome everybody to the last Kraken for the... I, I think it's fourth time. <laughs> last Kraken for the last time, we hope. I think I figured out how to make it not glitch, so... We should be good. But yeah, if you, if you have no concept of how big an 8x4x4 four four is, that's basically half of a bedroom. Half of your average sized bedroom. So it's, it's a very large enclosure. Alright, I guess I'll kill the Cleon. He's just gonna summon two more and I'm gonna make it worse for myself, but whatever. Maru will be the one to kill the Cleon. It's on the floor. Um, in retrospect, I wish that it was raised. Like, I wish that I had gotten casters on it. Because, obviously, it's hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I can't move it. Oopsie. Oh, no, that's right. Um, not like I really need to move it. But it just, it would have been nice to have casters on it. To be able to shift it a little bit. Don't mind the PlayStation. It will sort itself out in a second. <laughs> We're having a little bit of struggles today with the cord. There we go. Hey, Shivio, how you doing? Okay, Maru's turn. Hit the Cleon. And then hopefully... Whoops! Well, it died anyway. <laughs> and then hopefully Kraken dies shortly. I think he's got more health than he seems still, so he'll probably summon two more. But full we'll gust of wind dance. Smack, smack. I don't want it to be Maru's turn, though. So yeah, like, I'll try to set up the camera and the mic so that we can still chat and you can see what I'm doing. But there's only going to be so much I can do to, like, make all of that possible when I'm doing this huge enclosure, right? 
So probably there will just be like 20 minutes of me dumping dirt into this enclosure and moving it around. But I think it'll be fun to um, have your input, like show you where I'm going to put things and have you be like, oh, you should totally do whatever. Like we can build the enclosure together. Cleons, yay. I don't know, I'm just like superstitious and I don't want them to exist when the Kraken dies, so I'm killing them. Even though technically you get to kill them after the Kraken dies anyway. That has so much damage, bro. You're awesome. Deciding what to do with your afternoon. Um... Why is there somebody at my house? If there is somebody at my front door knocking. And I'm not going to answer it because I'm not expecting anybody. And if it's that contractor that I asked to come last Friday, I can go get back in his car and drive home because he didn't tell me that he was going to show up. Probably it's just a solicitor. Because... Excuse me, bro? Get away from my front door. It sounded like he, um, At first, it sounded like he was trying to turn the doorknob. Oopsie. Which means I think he was just putting, like, an advertisement on the doorknob. Yeah, I don't understand... Oopsie. Solicitors. Because... I'm not coming to my door. I don't know who you are. And... Oh, it is actually the contractor. He's just walking around my yard now. <sighs> Minus points on professionalism here. You can't even tell me that you're going to show up. Hold on, let me see. No, he didn't call me. He didn't text me. And he explicitly said that I didn't have to be here. So, wander around the backyard, get the information you need, and go away. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, villain. Soliciting doesn't work. Like, I'm not opening the door for you, even though I now know that he's the contractor that I asked to come out here last week. Um, like, I'm, I'm not opening the door for you if I'm not expecting you. I should have a beware of Mort sign and, like, not specify what Mort is. Oh, Maru didn't... Um level up her dragoon. But she got pretty hammer, which is nice. We did it! We get to go past the Kraken this time! Signet Sphere is resonating with the runaway reaction of Moot. Why? We prevented the attack of the last Kraken. Field of power generated by the dragoons triggered the one runaway reaction. I didn't even turn into a dragoon, you liar. Sorry, I'll teleport you. Savan, you have to come too. I will see this through till the end. You should hurry to the next city. The Signet Sphere of Aglas is now being destroyed. Are you starting it alone and ending it alone too? Even if my body vanishes, my heart will remain. It will give you the wings to fly the sky to the moon that never sets where Zeke is heading. I still have something to ask you. Rose, I'm grateful. You were my explode. <laughs> Thank you for the lizard treats, Draco. Nice to see ya. How you doing? We have no time for being sad. That's that. 
Okay, I'm saving because the Kraken is dead. I don't want to fight the Kraken anymore. <laughs> Enjoy your food and enjoy your lurk. All right, let's get the heck out of here. So despite the fact that we killed the last Kraken because of uh, BS reasons. Oh, I want to change my additions. Uh, because of BS reasons, the Signet exploded anyway. So we didn't get to protect that Signet. Which means we have to move on to the next city. Um, I don't know why I keep getting out of the additions menu. You need cool boogie. Well, actually, it doesn't matter because you're maxed on everything. So yeah, we couldn't save this signet. We got to move to the next one because that's where Zeke is going. Yeah, enjoy your smite, Stocky. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the good luck also. Hopefully we don't need it. Hello. It's like super awkward. Because, like, I asked this guy to come look at our yard because our yard needs to be regraded so that the water, like, flows away from our house. Because we live on a slab. Um, and if we don't regrade the yard, it's going to destroy our foundation. Um, so I asked him to come look to let me know how much it would be so that we can plan for, like, saving uh, for that project. And now he's, like, outside and we have... Um, like bay view windows on this side of the house right next to me. So I'm sitting here next to sort of floor to ceiling windows as he's just on the other side of the windows presumably wondering why I didn't answer the door. <laughs> like it's super awkward. Oh, he has a physical attack barrier. Yeah, okay, well. I don't know if power up counts as something that he does to eliminate the barrier. It does. Also, Dart is Dragoon level 5, and he now also has uh, Moonstrike. I hate this edition so much. It sucks that it's the final edition before you get. Um, Blazing Dynamo. The counterattack spots are garbage, and it's just awkwardly timed throughout, and we have to successfully do it 80 times. There. Ugh. Yeah, and I mean, he I explicitly asked, do you need me to be there? Or can you just walk around the house and take a look at it? And he's like, no, you don't have to be there. Um, Which way did we come from? <laughs> I think we're going this way. That was in fact false. I was wrong. Uh, so yeah, he said I didn't have to be here. And like I said, he said he was going to be here on Friday. And so I planned all day for him to be on here on Friday because I was going to talk to him. And then I didn't hear anything. He didn't tell me he wasn't coming. I sent him a message on Monday being like, hey, did you have a chance to come out? Maybe I missed you. And he didn't answer. And now he just like showed up here. <laughs> so get wrecked, bro. Just look at the yard yourself. I don't live on your schedule. <laughs> No, I'm not getting the treasure chests. Maybe I should, but whatever. Buckle. Hi, buddy. Miranda, you're still annoying. Are other people safe? Don't say anything. Savan died. And yet, for some reason, because this game is glitched, he's still floating in the background there. <laughs> Like, seriously, that's so weird. Because remember, the, we're right across from where we did the trials. 
So last week, remember the game kept glitching and Savan was like just out there and he wasn't where we could talk to him? He's still there. Just floating, even though he literally just died. I don't understand. Buckle and other creatures cannot live without Savan. Can't we do something for you? Can't you be saved with the dragoon's power? Answer me. Be quiet. Good night. Are you playing dead again? Give me a break. We can meet again soon. Closing my eyes. And soon. Poor Buckle. But you can see, like, it's it's just glitched. Because Savannah's standing right here, and uh, Lulu, who is this other one that looks like Buckle, is still just zooming around. She's not supposed to be doing that. Like, she's supposed to also be dead. So I, I don't know what's happening. Also, let's find more real quick. Where'd you go, Mort? There you are. Hey, buddy. The only person who really needs additions right now is Al. If we're being honest, he's the only one that's like behind a little bit because we played with Rose for a little while. And he's not even super behind. He only needs like 10 of these and they're very easy. I hate Moonstrike. Oh, and I missed it on the last one. So yeah, we'll get out of here. We'll go to Xenobatis. We'll finish Xenobatis. I have the option to turn off basically all enemy encounters in Xenobatis, and I don't think I'm gonna do it. Combination of keeping it spooky and we should probably do the additions. Um, I think the answer is this one or the next one. Who was this one? We'll get out of here, I promise. The music here kind of slaps, though. I like it. Okay, well, not gonna focus on him then, I guess. Yeah, I would say he's sure. <laughs> But yeah, if we do all of Xenobatis today, plus a little bit of Mayfill, then next week we will get to the point of no return, basically, at the end of the game. And I say the end of the game loosely. There's still quite a chunk of stuff to do after the point of no return. But there is certainly a point where you go to a place and then you cannot leave that place ever again. Yeah, Dragoon level 5 is where you actually get the dragon magic to summon your dragon. Uh, dragon obviously being in quotes. <laughs> the concept of dragon is a little loose in this game. You would think for all the more SP she's getting, she's getting 200 SP per attack, but she would be Dragoon level 5. Whoopsie. Well. Oh, are you counterattack? 
that's the worst place to have a counterattack. That attack is hard enough to do to begin with, and then you have almost no time. Okay, get me out of here. Get me out of Agless. We spent so long here. We spent an extra week here. <laughs> and she's still not Dragoon level 5. We're almost to the beginning. These two are here. Dart, decal's time is stopping. I cannot roll anymore. But before that, you must see. So it's Zeeg that they're showing in the mirror. Dad, what are you doing? The moon mirror is broken. Because the signet sphere of Aglis was destroyed. He doesn't need it anymore. Zeeg is in the lost city Zenobatis. Go hurry. But how can we go? We connected the teleport device. Please keep rolling for decal. Decal was the one that was always rolling around this room in a big circle. He's dead. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. He opened our road with his last power. We won't waste your death. Bye, buddy. I love these little rolly boys. Oh yes, we get more of this. I promise we're almost there. It's this one, I think. Oh, Draco, you gave a treat. When we get to Xenobatis, I'll give Mort his treat. I do not want to deal with one of these merman things, okay? Maru, you deal with it because your counterattack is a little bit more forgiving. I don't like that camera angle. Okay. I want this guy dead. Because he's a pain in the butt with his physical attack barrier, but Dart is not going to attack him because he's going to get counterattacked. And I just want to do as many moon strikes as possible. I really have to focus on those because I don't want to grind them out at the end of the game. We want Blazing Dynamo for sure, but we want it not just newly gotten when we finish the game, because additions level up the more you do them. Like, they become more powerful, so... I would like to actually do Blazing Dynamo for a little while. Ugh, that's always a gross spot for a counterattack as well. No, Dart, you do not get to attack that guy. Alright. Manta Ray boys don't counterattack. Okay, now help me, y'all, because Osbando has, like, a work lunch today. He has one every other week, because somebody in his office will, like, present something that they're knowledgeable about to everybody else, and then they have lunch. Um... Which means, since he's getting a big lunch, we're not really making dinner. Which means I get to go get lunch too. For myself. What should I get? Hey, she did it. She gets her level 5 Dragoon. What should I get for myself? Of course, my natural answer would be Taco Bell. But, I kind of eat a lot of Taco Bell. So yeah, you can see them just like dying as we walk through here. They can't survive without Savan. Because they're magical creatures, they were made by him. Ah! Let me be free! Savan, why couldn't you use your last power to teleport me to the beginning of your giant city? <laughs> what on earth is Taco John's? Am I missing something important? Is there another taco place that I could eat at? <laughs> I 
swear to God, if Taco Bell just gave me like a like my Reptilinks code, uh, that was just like one dollar off of tacos, I would plug that fifty times a stream. Taco Bell would make so much money off of me. Wow, that was garbage. <laughs> Whoops. Slightly less greasy and slightly less flavorful. Hmm. Don't do it! Oh, I knew he was gonna do it. I was even like, I had my finger on the circle button. But what makes it hard is for that specific attack, for that specific um, counterattack and everything, like there's a delay where it looks like a normal attack Game. Game, come back. Game? Wait, 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 wait. It's still making noise. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go jiggle the cord, just in case. Because I can hear it. I think we have too many items. And it's trying to... to replace one, but I can't see it. Nope, it's not the cord, so let me... let me try to figure out where I am. Based on... Okay, I gotta turn the TV up. Hold on. Okay, it's menu music. I'm on items for sure. Because I think maybe if I can get out of this menu, it'll load. Um. Okay, sure. This. That would have just swapped them. Okay, we're out of the menu. I can't see. But... Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay? I believe... That I know this game well enough... That I can get us to Xenobatis without having to see it. <laughs> So hold on. Okay, menu, bottom, new screen, top save. We're gonna go down. Three, four, here, save. Okay. Not in the menu anymore. All right. We should be in the same screen that has the teleporter to Xenobatis. We were right in front of it. We're coming in on the right. Oh, good. We're in a fight. Great. Oh, it's back. <laughs> yes. I am a god, okay? <laughs> I got us- I got us out of a menu and into the next room without being able to see. Whoa, okay, game's really loud now. <laughs> Hold on. Man, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Blindfolded run. 
See, that's the thing, Draco. I swear to God, if the thing that it swapped was the psychedelic bomb... Oh, I am gonna be angry. I specifically went to the top. When I was choosing swapping stuff, um, I specifically went to the top because that should be where that body purifier went that we got earlier. This game does not want me to finish it, and I don't know why. I love this game. Why is it treating me this way? I don't want those counterattacks, bro. Just let me do this addition one of the 80 times that I need to. Yeah, I can check during this fight. I mean, sure, we could even just use it to finish the fight. I thought for sure that would be a magic attack barrier because of course it would because we're about to check. Okay, my psych bomb is still here. And actually it did look like I got rid of the body purifier. Which is exactly what I intended to do. I just did it without being able to see. Because I only saw a spirit potion. At the top. Okay, can we not do that again? Are we seriously doing this again? Okay, thank you. Jeez. Yeah, so we come through here. Um. This is actually not. Oh, it is. It is. And then we're going to come through. Just a bunch of straight lines. Oh, you know, I did make a mistake, so I wouldn't have gotten us. I wouldn't have gotten us there. I would have figured it out eventually, but I wouldn't have gotten us there as, as soon as I expected. Sad. I am not the god gamer after all. But I just really want to be out of Aglis, though. I'm scared of this place now. So we're gonna start psych bombing everything until my arm gets too tired to do it. Because it just does utterly massive damage. That's why you put in the effort to get the psych bomb X instead of just the psych bomb, because it's repeatable. Well, we're here. <laughs> Let's see what these are. A magical hat! I want more items! What did I... Yeah, I got rid of the body purifier, didn't I? Oh no, it's here. So I got rid of a, a Sun Rhapsody, I guess. Whatever, that's fine. You... Wasn't any better. <laughs> okay, let me in here. Oh, I absolutely could. Definitely 100% could. <laughs> but see, Draco, you're speaking sense. I'm like terrified of these battles now. Hey, Mort. We still want to be doing additions, for darts' sake, mostly. <laughs> you no, know, I'm role-playing as myself. I'm stingy as hell. <laughs> I'm using the excuse that Maru being poisoned lets me know when it's her turn, because she flinches. There, see? Hey, 
Oh, she gets to go so fast. I should also check out what that magical hat does. I think it restores SP. Which isn't like the worst, but I also kind of don't really care. Dort, you leveled up. Yay! Automatically learn the rest of your moon strikes and then I'll be happy. Alright, get me back over here because I made a horrible mistake. And I should have just gone here. <laughs> I could. I'm actually very confident that I could pull off blindfolded editions. The problem is that um, I say as I then don't even hit the first hit of this edition. <laughs> um, the problem is that we still had those couple screens before the teleporter. Which, I mean, I would have figured out. Oops, I forgot what edition I was doing. I thought I was doing Crush Dance. You can't blame me, we only fought the Kraken like 50 times with Crush Dance. So yeah, I don't know if it's just Agless that's being a little wonky, or if we're gonna start seeing those, those glitches throughout. but I've never seen them before, and I would be interested to see, like, are the Sentinels in Xenobatis just, like, not gonna move, and so they're, they're gonna be in my way and I can't get past them? I have no idea. Okay, get me the heck out of this magical underwater city, okay? Teleporter. Coming in from the right. Here it is. Good lord. This must be the door to the teleport device Decal was talking about. Uh-huh. Let's go. Hey, Temp, enjoy your lurk. Thanks for the good luck, Dragon Sage. Apparently we need it. Game won't stop glitching. It looks like the one in my forest. This can take us to Xenobatis instantly. It's completely different. Wingley's had such astonishing magic power moving between cities instantly like this. That's astonishing, all right, but I cannot accept life being generated by magic. Me neither. It's too depressing to be born just to do one thing. That's racist. <laughs> Against Buckle. The Virage Embryo, the god of destruction. I feel like they never say Virage Embryo with also, without also emphasizing, like, by the way, did you remember that that's the god of destruction, the moon that never sets in the sky? Yeah, that's his body, remember? The Virage Embryo was born for destruction only. Its existence might have the same sorrow. Then let's try to make it feel better by murdering it. By making sure it'll never be born. We gotta protect the next Signet Sphere. Let's go to the Lost Cities in Abedis. Let's go! Finally, we're free! Mort, where did you go? I said I would give you a blueberry when we got to Xenobatis, and now you're gone. What a goober. I'm gonna go try to find him and give him his, his, uh, snack. That, I believe it was Draco redeemed, right? I will be right back.
I know that he'll come out for that. That's a quail egg. I know that he wants that. He'll come out for it. My items at McDee's are sold out. Troy's going to Wendy's. I haven't had Wendy's in forever. There you go, Mort. Keep it on the plate, please. Be a clean eater. Okay, we're here. Oh, we're in a new place. Hey, Ray. Nice to see you. How you doing? Keep it on the plate, honey. That's why you have a plate. <laughs> Thank you. So this is the law city, the Nevadas. It's the city where the legislation and administration of the world of the ancient winglings were carried out. It's an austere place. Seems like a place Albert would love. Ain't that the truth. Oh look, this contractor left me a message, presumably being like, why weren't you here? Even though he specifically said that I didn't have to be here. Yes, I have a great interest in the way in which they manage their nations. However, I don't think I can learn anything from such a mess. It fell more than 10,000 years ago. Warning, 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 warning. Oh, these guys. Warning, Zenobatis is under martial law. Leave the city at once. Good for you, Albert. It seems Zenobatis is still alive. Warning, invaded by humans. Take shelter in Cadessa promptly. Warning, warning, warning. However, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be functioning. Are those things generated by magic too? Seems like it, but it's different from Buckle. There's no heart in it. It's just like Zeke now. Wow, way to bring down the mood. Hey guys, there's something coming this way. Hi, buddy! Oh, this is the part I wanted to get to last week. And we didn't, because, you know. Glitches. What's this? I'm Kulon. I'll be your wings. Savan was talking about it in his last moments. Wings that can fly the skies will be given. It was about you. Rose and people who are carrying the world. Although Savane couldn't accomplish his objectives, he fulfilled his role at the expense of his life. Now everything is on you. I know. I will stop my father and fulfill Savane's will. I'll be here waiting for you. Whenever you'd like to go back to the world, I'll be your wings. Um... So yeah, Kulan is here. He's like a he's like a flappy manta ray boy. And now we can go anywhere in the world. Which is pretty sick. Hi Mort. Is that good, buddy? A save point. So yeah, Kulan is our, our end game like go revisit anything that you missed. Thing. Wait, hold on. That's that's super weird, but okay. We're free. <laughs> We're out of Agless forever. All right, we're gonna make it through Zenobatis as fast as possible. Warning, under martial law, visitation allowed only to the Legislation Center, Law Factory, and Law Launcher. Great court, residential area, power room, are off-limits. Can't we go to the place where the Signet Sphere is? Impossible, the law prohibits humans from going to the Signet Sphere. Impossible, the law prohibits humans from going to the Signet Sphere. It seems it's a waste to talk to them. Let's focus on how we can proceed. Okay, seems we can decide the destination with this operation counter. Determine the destination. Okay, so we are going to the legislation center. This place is like such a such a trip. <laughs> Heard lol launcher. Yeah, so pretty sure that this is a very accurate representation of how you how you do legislation. 
and in any country, first, you go to the, to the legislation center where you wait in line to propose a law. And that's what we're gonna do first. And then you go to the law center where that thing that you proposed is turned into a little rocket. And then you shoot it out of a rocket launcher. That's how it works, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Shade Strike, you're not even wrong. It, the Law Launcher is a giant t-shirt cannon for legislature. You are not even wrong. Oh, this guy's so fast. <laughs> okay, so we have to go and we have to stand in line. If you cut the line, you have to start over. And they're like deliberating. All these little, they're called lactos, are all deliberating over each law that's proposed. They're enforcing like praise for winglies. My turn. For service, stand in the center. Is this a submission of a bill? Yep. Submit it at once. Wait a minute, we want to go to where the Cygnus Sphere is. Waste of time, leave promptly. Next! Alright, so now we have to wait in line again. <laughs> and you can see the things they're talking about. They're talking about, you know, worshipping winglies, repossessing land. They're kind of stuck from 11,000 years ago just making these kinds of laws. It will be my turn shortly. Buddy, hey, go. <laughs> Hi, Mort. Was that good? Okay. Your server stand in the center. Here we go. This is submission of a bill, not this time. Is this a revision of the law? Yes. State the number of the article to be revised. Even we can change the law? It is revised if necessary. State the number of the article to be revised. State the first digit from the left. It's, um... Second digit from the left. Pretty sure it's 703. Wingly Code Article 703. Deliberation on revision of the law prohibiting non-winglies from going to the signet sphere. Wingly amended code article 703. The law does not prohibit non-winglies from going to the signet sphere. Law production license is issued. Take this to the law factory. Thanks, buddy. Oh, bless you, Mort. Okay, so fastest way, I'm pretty sure, is just going to be to get caught here. They'll take us to a prison. There's a ton, actually, Dragon Sage. There's some that do absolutely nothing. Are we arrested? Darn, what timing. Everybody's feeling the same way. We have to focus on how to get out of here. Seems they arrest people and send them here. Yeah, Dragon Sage, I'm pretty sure there's... Because I know that there's one to turn off these people who just... Or the laptos that just brought me here to prison. You can turn them off so they don't chase you. Seems there's no device to get out of here. Maybe no exit? I don't want to think about a room without an exit. Wait a minute. Didn't we forget somebody? <laughs> Sorry, Kongol's late. Kongol? Why was... Why were only you outside? Kongol don't know. It's simple. He was too heavy to teleport. Now we can get out. Thanks, buddy. So yeah, you can turn them off. Um, I'll look up some of the other ones, because I know there's some that do, like, absolutely nothing. Presumably because some people sat here at some point and tried, like, 
every possible three digit combination. So we're here again. You're at the flying disk station departing from the teleporting device. Determine the destination. We are going to the law factory where we put our our law into a rocket. <laughs> hey buddy. Oh, so here's another example. I was gonna Oh, actually it's already it's already turned on. 339. Let's me use the shop. So I know you can turn this back off if you want to. So that they don't sell to people anymore. What we got? Oh yeah, she needs that. Instantly kills an enemy. With a certain probability. These armors are really good, by the way. But we're not going to get them because we don't have that much money. And it doesn't matter. Which also reminds me that we got that pretty hammer. Sorry, Maru. Not as powerful. I don't need twice as much SP. What's the magical hat do? Ooh, actually. Who wants this? Anybody can wear a magical hat, right? Yeah, you want this. I'm deciding. Al, you get a magical hat. Good job. So you could just fight these guys, because once you fight them once, they go away. But why do that when it's more fun to try to trick them like this? <laughs> we made it. We're here. Submit law production license issued by Legislation Center. Law production license, this should be it. Understood. Launching of law is required for the enforcement of the law. Law launching license is issued. Take this to the law launcher. Thank you. When the process is completed, step back. You're hindering the fulfillment of the quota. Complaints shall be brought to the Legislation Center. Catch me, bro. Back to square one again. Give Congo a break. Yeah, it's way faster to do this than to like go backwards through the teleporters again. But yeah, Xenovatus is actually fairly easy. It's just this. I mean, to be fair, we are gonna have to do this again. The law launcher. Yeah, I don't know. I find this place very relaxing and charming. We actually got a random encounter. There's not many places in here where you can like build up your random encounter meter. So that's kind of kind of rare. So after stream today, I might just farm Moonstrike, if we're being honest. We're going to be capped a little bit by the level requirement needed to get... Oh, actually, no, that's not true. I was going to say we're going to be capped by the level requirement to get Blazing Dynamo, but for the final edition, it doesn't matter the level. Like, as soon as you do all of the other editions 80 times, you just get it. It would really be great for Maru to get her next one because she's maxed on all of her additions right now. No, the game's a little bit bright right now, Cheville, because the PlayStation is having a little bit of a fit. 
These things are tough, jeez. I personally figured having the game a smidge bright was better than having it flickering. Oh, can we not, though? Can we not? Summer is just dead. Can't combat means you die immediately. I mean, she was the one I wanted to get experience. Miss? Ow. But we shouldn't barely get any fights here, so I just kind of want to finish this one for Dart's sake with Moonstrike. You... Ha! I did it anyway, loser. Oh, I actually kind of wish that that knocked Al down so that Dart was the only one combating. Oh, God. Oh, 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 I thought we just lost. Oh no, but this is bad though. Oh, this is bad. Al's charmed, I don't get a turn. If he does another can't combat. No, 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 no! <laughs> no! Oh no. <laughs> that just happened. I just died in an RPG where I've modded it so that I don't lose health. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Hi, Mort. Okay, so don't, don't worry about it. We're just, we're gonna go as fast as possible, okay? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. We're gonna get back to that place, and then we're gonna explode those guys immediately, so they can't do that. Yeah, ow. Okay, I was, I was, I was just through this a second ago. Oh, God. <laughs> this game... This game. What kind of jerk does can't combat three times in one fight? It won't actually take that long. Like, this is way better than having that happen in Aglas. But we were almost at the law launcher! We were gonna rocket our legislation to the four corners of the earth. So sad. I kind of wondered that, Cheville. I've debated whether I should or not. It's my turn. No. Yes. Yes, we can change the law, Dart. Shut your gob. Seven. Zero. Three. Give me, give me. Yeah, we can go to the Cygnus Sphere as soon as we launch this law, which apparently is a problem. Oh 
All I wanted was to finish Xenobatis today, and the game is like, you know what? I don't think so. <laughs> oh no, we're in prison! Surely we'll be here forever! It only took us 10 minutes to realize we were missing one of our dearest friends. But we definitely want to unlock this because... Um... We have to actually amend the law twice. Three times now. Hey Congo, nice to see ya, let's go. Okay. We're already basically back to where we were. Yeah, Draco. It's like actually kind of one of my favorite places. I find it very charming. But I think to some people it feels kind of like the low point of disc four. Even though to me Mayfell kind of feels more like that. Even though a lot happens in Mayfell. Uh, Law Factory. Okay, we're just gonna grab this license again real quick, and then we'll be exactly back to where we were. Did I buy anything? I don't think I bought anything from the shop when we were there five minutes ago. a little close, but we made it. Okay, buddy. My turn in line. Give me my thingy. And then give me my rocket. Thank you. Okay, bye. And we're done. So, we're back to where we just were. Catch me. Oh no, back to square one. The fastest way to do it. Truly, this is devastating. I'm gonna see what's in this other chest. Just because we've been here a million times. Oh, well, it's an item, which means I don't care. get to go to the law launcher. I'm so excited. Do not get me into a fight. <laughs> oh, I lied just now. You need to come over here. Hey, buddy, come on. Oh boy! <laughs> that was really close. Because at this point, this is the hard one. I don't want to go to jail. Because then that's suddenly like a lot of walking. But okay. We're free! Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. You're at the flying disc station in front of the launcher. I sure am. L let me on. <laughs> Can we be launched? Submit law launching license issued by Law Factory. Yep, it's this. Understood. The law will be enforced. When the process is completed, step back. You're hitting the fulfillment of the quota. Complete to be brought to the Law Factory. And that's it. Our law 
rockets out of this giant cannon. And uh, that's how it gets enforced. Thanks! There it goes! <laughs> so we should now be able to travel to the Signet Sphere. <laughs> Neat, I think. This is definitely exactly what they taught in in the I'm Just a Bill song. This is how it works. This is what I learned in school. Hey, I don't want to have to do that for a third time. And we're about to fight an enemy that once again can do can't combat. So, we're gonna save! Let's go fight a boss! Yay! Al, how are you doing, buddy? Spinning Cane's at 74. Okay, we're using Gust of Wind Dance again. Signet Sphere! Signet Sphere! Let's- oh. I wanted to go to the Signet Sphere. Because Daddy's gonna be there. Because every single one of these enemies has can't combat attacks. This place is a nightmare. I have no idea what the percentage is, because I can't read it. 220 something I could see. Get wrecked, fellas. That is that is so good. Psychedelic bomb is broken. Hey, cool on. Oh, I went the, to the wrong place. This is the uh, teleporter here in, here in a second. But it is not, in fact, where I needed to be. I need to be up here to have the conversation we didn't have before about how we couldn't go to the Signet Sphere. <laughs> because now we can. The law prohibits humans from going to the Signet Sphere. I know that, but it should be revised now. No revision has been received. Hey you, can't you be more flexible? Maybe my spell's not that strong, but I'm here. Why don't you let us go? She's talking about the fact that she's a wingly. The law prohibits humans from going to the Signet Sphere. A world crisis is near at hand. I don't think he cares. No interest in world crisis. Interest only in compliance with the law. Wingly Code Article 703 revised and forced immediately. The law does not prohibit non-winglies from going to the Signet Sphere says does not prohibit. Seems to produce laws launched, arrives, and is then enforced. They're treating laws as if they're commodities. That's all it was anyway. The law was a mere tool to judge other creatures. For them, the winglies. We spent too much time with that tool. We gotta get to the signet sphere before my father. Let's go. Let me go. Yes, I know. Let me go. Flying to station of the teleporting device. Determine the destination. Let's go to the signet sphere. It's the only thing I've ever wanted. <laughs> it, it really is like such a, a bizarre city. This game is super fun. Like, I'm a little biased because I grew up kind of with this game. And I'm at the flying disc station of the Great Court. Thank you. The Cygnus Sphere should be here. Cygnus Sphere, Cygnus Sphere, Cygnus Sphere. Hey, it knows all of our names. Total seven. But yeah, like, I'm a little biased because I kind of grew up with this game, but... And it's definitely wonky in its own way, but I love it a lot. Confirmed accused. Accused? What's it saying? You're at the flying disc station in front of the Great Court. It's a waste to ask. So this thing totally knows who we are. It knows our names, it knows how many of us there are. That's probably not good. And I will, in fact, save once we're over here, because, like I said, these guys have... can't combat, so... Or at least one of them does.
Where are we? It's the court of Xenobatis. It's the place where judgment is passed for non-winglies under the name of fake justice. And still now. Everybody's just shouting guilty. My name is Nomos. I am the justice. My word is the only truth. We're here to protect the Cygnet Sphere. Let us go through. Accused. Dart, Rose, Owl, Hazel, Miranda, Maru, Kongol. Seems you know we're here for the Signet Sphere, and you're trying to intervene. Why? Accusation. The will of the creator Soa. It's not working. Is this manipulated by my father? Just like the Kraken. Thus the death penalty is sentenced. Come out, winged executioners, Vector, Celibus, and Kubula. Start the execution. I think it's... Kubula? that has the instant death attack. So he's gonna die first. Oh, but Celibus actually, ugh. Maybe we should kill Celibus first, he heals. Oh, how much do I care? Probably a lot. Legend of Dragoon is really hard to find, for sure. I don't know why. I think probably because it obviously didn't sell as well as like Final Fantasy VII. My copy is kind of borked. Like the unfortunately the case is cracked. Um, but they certainly don't sell at like normal retail price anymore. They're pretty expensive. If you try to get a replacement, you could probably find one for like eighty bucks, maybe. Stop with the counterattacks on Moonstrike. So I'm hoping that if the only one that I ever damage is Celibus, she won't heal. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm obviously playing a physical copy, but if you have um PlayStation Now, there is a rumor that just started like two days ago or something that they're gonna add Legend of Dragoon to the online classics collection. So maybe you can play it like digitally soon. Hopefully. Personally, I would like this news to mean that they're gonna do a remake, but it's probably just that it's getting added to the classics collection, which isn't a bad thing either, obviously. And some people are even thinking that if it does get added, they're gonna add it with trophies, which of course I would love. If this game gets added with trophies, I'm going to be like one of the first people to get the trophy, <laughs> the platinum trophy. So we switched back to Gust of Wind Dance because it does just ungodly amounts of damage compared to his other additions. We get really hoping that Celibus doesn't heal if Celibus is the only one that's getting hit. And that's Kubila. He has been basically not doing anything. Oh, she heals anyway. Oh, but she doesn't heal herself. Ha ha. I have outsmarted you. It's very frustrating to do like a ton of damage to them and then like it just gets erased because she heals for a lot. Like I'm not even going to psych bomb until she's gone. There's no point. And then as soon as she is gone, I will, of course. Uh, Vector's not actually that hard. It's just that depending on how quickly you kill him and who else is still alive, he will change, like, form and become, like, this uber-massive damage dealer.
I love that this very... This is a very serious court, you know? Like, they've been taking this seriously the entire time we're here. Like, amend the laws, follow all the rules, you know, stay in line, get out of the way. And yet, one of their three executioners is just a dude with a hat and some scissors. <laughs> Oh, I missed that counterattack. Yikes. So yeah, this basically... Xenobatis and Mayfill are kind of the points in the game where you really start to feel like you're at the end of the game. Enemies start getting really hard. Like, Dart doesn't have Soul Eater, uh, mostly because I didn't go pick it up because it was kind of out of the way in Megrad. At least I think it's in Megrad. Anyway, um... But we don't have, like, beginning game weapons. I've I've been keeping up with people. And we're still, like... It takes a lot to kill these enemies. I would so much prefer that attack over her, like, whole animated sky attack thing. Hey, she's in yellow, though. And she let me do a full moon strike? You're the best. Okay, so he's getting big because we didn't kill her fast enough, sadly. He becomes like a, an uber damage dealer now. You're meant... Like, the pacing of that is meant to stop you or, like, distract you from Kubila. Because at this point, most people are going to be fighting Kubila to stop him from doing his instant death thing, which we're very lucky he hasn't done yet. Um, but you just really can't ignore Vector when he's big like that. He does a lot of damage, and he does it to everybody. Most of the time, at least. Okay, Syllabus is in red, which is good. We can use Psych Bomb as soon as she's gone. I just hate to, like, waste the Psych Bomb and then have her just heal it away. Ah, uh, these counterattacks. There's no good place for a counterattack in Moonstrike except for the second hit. And it almost never happens there. Vector is like not attacking though. And Kubila still hasn't done his his instant death thing, so. That wasn't bad. Not bad. Doesn't matter, loser. I know your tricks. Well! Like, this is fine. This isn't his instant death thing. <laughs> it's just him starting to do something different. Also, Mort, he's still here, by the way. He's in his little log over there. You just can't see him aside from his tail. Because he's had his eggy, and now he's very content and happy. Thank you, Draco, for the eggy. Celibus, give up the ghost, my friend. I've been hitting you for half an hour. I'm nervous to use Dragoon, honestly. Um, because it glitched out Kraken. There we go. Okay, she's gone. Maru, you're the weakest one anyway, so this is actually perfect. Leg bomb. Oh man, that was almost 2.30. Nice. 
Yeah, I do not want Celibus heal healing that. That already took, just, just that took Vector to yellow. So, I'll just kill Vector real quick. Kubila can't possibly kill all three of us. Right? <laughs> Fast enough that we couldn't start rezzing. There's more its little tail for you. This is an instant death, though. Well, of the people to have it happen to, Maru is certainly not the worst. Al is the one we don't want to see go down. I should, however, check the number of angels' prayers that I have. Because we might want to switch to Kubila if we don't have very many. Eh, we've got three. That's probably fine. He shouldn't just spam that, I don't think. Bruh, you're going, doing weird things kind of a lot. You're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> I think I might start attacking you even though Vector's halfway dead. You're making me nervous. Because two angels' prayers, two more, should be enough. But just in case, we could quickly find ourselves getting into trouble. Oh, Kubila's yellow as well. Alright. It's literally just that Celibus was a tank. Well, okay, and apparently Maru doesn't do any damage. Okay, Maru is not going to attack anymore. She's going to start using items. Just to try to blitz Kubila down a little bit faster. That's a lot of damage, my man. No counterattack? How kind of you. Alright. Um, I would rather use hit all items. I've actually been saving a lot of all attack items for things like this. That was way better than she was going to do on her own, obviously. Ah, yeah, could be those in red. Get wrecked, bro. I'm not wasting any more items on your sorry ass. I would have laughed, though, if Maru would have been the one to do it, because she does, like, less than 100 damage. I think he's only going to get the chance to do that one instant death. That's the best place for a counterattack. Within this attack, if you're gonna have one, that's the place to have it. Um, I actually think Kubila's dying. And he automatically does the instant death when he dies. I think? Maru is just getting really unlucky today. Rest in pieces! I'm not wasting Al's attack. Al is super strong. Yeah, 800 damage. What a champion. Now 
Nobody gives Al enough credit. Everybody's like, oh, Al sucks. Man, just level him up for a little while, and he is a beast with Gust of Wind Dance. I want Maru to get the experience because good god she needs her next edition. All of her editions are maxed right now. She just desperately needs her next one. Whoopsie. That's not how you win fights. This'll kill. Assuming that I get the full edition. Which I didn't, but it still didn't matter. We did it! Ruru, please, level up. Thank you. But she didn't learn anything! You dunce! <laughs> Where did Mort go? There he is. Hi, buddy. Okay. Master, hurry to the god. Rebels against Soas will overcome me. Bye, Nomos. Signet Spear is over there. Let's go. Okay, wait. I'm actually just gonna save. Because just in case, just like with the Kraken, it doesn't play the scene, I don't want to have to fight those three again. The Signet Sphere! He's done it! It's losing its magic power. This moon dagger is serving as proof. How on earth did he get here? So once again we failed. Zeke destroyed the Signet before we got there. Now the sky is one of my roads too. For, for reasons. Because he's neither a dragoon nor a wingly. I don't know why he can fly. <laughs> Hi dad! Can you hear the movements of the God of Destruction? As if a hymn to the new world. Sounds like an outcry of the world to me. And if you notice in the background, the moon that never sets is starting to turn red. With the outcry, Shannon will be reborn to the God who no longer knows you. She desires that too. She does not. You'll see when you meet her. But for Shanna, you're a mere object to be destroyed. Bye. He is not Zeeg. Then who is he? We'll find out in the city of the last Signet Sphere. I will, in Mayfill. Yay! So we have to go to Mayfill. As Dart said, that's where the last Signet is. If Zeeg breaks the Signet in Mayfill as well, then he can put Shanna back in the moon that never sets. Which, in essence, is putting the soul and the body of the God of Destruction back together. And that's bad for everybody, in case in case you couldn't figure that out. How did Zeke get to be master of the city? Like, so I guess the reasoning, right, is like, he flew around all of that stuff because he can fly now. But like, we're dragoons. Why don't we just dragoon? We have wings too, and then we can just fly to the Signet Sphere. Is it because we're the good guys and we're like trying to do things the right way? Is this an allegory for our current political system where the people who try to do things according to the normal processes never accomplish anything? <laughs> the real answer is I don't think they thought about it, <laughs> but... We're at the flying disk station departing from the Cygnus Sphere of the Great Court. Alright, whoopsie. We're going back to the teleport device. Student confirmed. So. In order to follow Zeeg, we now need to go to Mayfill. We don't currently have a road to Mayfill, which means we need to make one. Mayfill's the death city, for those who are remembering. Kulon! Why? What is your excuse for why we can't just get on you to go to Mayfill? Where's the destination? 
please go to Mayfell. Dad must be heading there. The sky over Mayfell is filled with swirling souls. I don't think I can make it with my newborn wings. What? Then how should we go? You should be able to go with the teleporting device. Okay. Martial law is relaxed. Revision is required to move to Death City Mayfell. So, we're gonna just change the law again so that the teleporter will go to Mayfell. And we know how this works. We gotta we gotta put our law into the t-shirt launcher. Should be fairly easy. We don't even have a boss fight after we do that, so we'll be done right quick. This is going to come back to... <laughs> yeah. So, um... Ooh, I didn't think that movement was good enough. Uh, in order to pass laws, we have to literally launch them out of a rocket launcher. Which is kind of exciting. Oh, villain, it was because last night you just so desperately just said, like... What did you even say? Oh, my sweet, sweet noodle or something, but you were just so sad and despondent about it. It just made me laugh. Yes, this is a revision of the law. State the number of the article to be revised. I'm pretty sure that it's four, either 410 or 413. 410? Liberation on the amendment of setting the teleporting device connection to Death City Mayfield shall be disconnected. Yes, amended. Death City Mayfield shall not be disconnected. So now we take the law production license to the law factory, where they give us a rocket. <laughs> oh, I actually wanted to get caught. Just kidding. <laughs> What's Law 420? I don't think you can do more than one law at a time, Dragon Sage. I'm pretty sure that if you try to do that, um, they'll just be like, you have a law production license, you have to go turn it in before we'll give you another one, you know? <laughs> they didn't repair the wall. Well, they would need to pass a law to do that. And so they have to deliberate on it. So let me look this up. See what other laws there are. Um... Hold on, okay, let me keep going. Because I know that there's more than just what we're doing. still worked out alright. E? <laughs> I shouldn't have gone there. Woo! And I shouldn't have gone there either. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Then a bad house. 339 shops will cease and desist from engaging in lawful trade with non-winglies. Um, yeah, teleport to Mayfill. 640, waiting in line to pass a law is hereby suspended. So you don't have to wait, I guess. Um, 659, apprehension of intruders by robot policemen is suspended. Uh, 666, martial law being suspended. Incursion by humans into the city of Zenobata should not be hindered by the placement of monsters within the city limits. So you don't get random encounters, probably. And then 703, Signet Sphere. Huh. Yeah. 
Submit the law production license. Now we have a law launching license. Thank you. Yeah, I'm hindering the fulfillment of the quota. I got it. But it's funny, like... Like, the whole purpose of this city, right? Oh, I want to be caught. Is to show that all of this is completely pointless, right? Like, within the story, that's the purpose, is... This whole city is functioning on making completely pointless laws... That don't even matter anymore. So... In the time that it takes you to eliminate the wait in line... And like, stop random encounters, you would have already been done with the other two things that you had to do, right? Nope, not doing this fight. Thank you very much. I don't know how good that was, but it felt good. Hey, Viv, how you doing? Yo, get wrecked. Who's the one dying completely this time? Okay, so teleporter will be turned on as soon as we rocket launch this law out into the universe. And then we can go to Mayfell. We're gonna do a little bit of Mayfell. We're not gonna do all of Mayfell. Because there's a lot that I actually wanna do there. Um, I guess I'll show you real quick, actually. Um, if we pop out here, you'll see that the Lapto that we just talked to... Well, actually, I guess we need to talk to him. Or not. Um, after a while, he'll have the law, like, floating next to him. Oh, we didn't actually go to the law launcher. That's what I'm missing. That's why he doesn't have the law. It's because I am a dingbat, not because... Uh, not because the game isn't giving it to him yet. Excuse me, I'm trying to subvert the process of law. But yeah, once we pass that hill, that little laptop will have the new law next to him, just like the other one did. And so he'll be the one in charge of turning on the teleporter. The l, -l, -l launcher Law launcher you gotta love the names in this game, right? Hey, Dart. Thanks for leveling up again before Maru ever leveled up so she could get her other addition, which I'm sure happens at 30. Please. <laughs> okay, we gotta go to the law launcher because I'm, I'm a dingbat. That's exactly. That's this whole game. Like, the law launcher, the dragon block staff, the dragon buster. Like, I love it. <laughs> I love how absolutely goofy it is. Come here, buddy. That's always a spooky one. I don't like that one. Alright. We're at the law launcher. Let us launch our law. Wait your turn. Submit your law launching license. This is it. Understood. The law will be enforced. When the process is completed, step back. You're hitting the fulfillment of the quota. Complaints will be brought to the law factory. Thank you for launching my law. 
<laughs> this is unnecessarily cool. See, Shade Strike, did you truly think when you said stick your law in a t-shirt launcher that that was actually what was going to happen? Because you were, you were spot on. Okay, let's get out of this place. We are done with Xenobatis. Remember how it took us like three weeks to do Aglis, mostly because the Kraken kept glitching? We did Xenobatis in like half of a stream, <laughs> so. Yeah, Mayfield's gonna take a little while just because I really wanna do the optional stuff. See, now he's got the little law in front of him. So we're off to Mayville. Heck yes. This is the last signet. If we don't protect this one, then Zeke's gonna get what he wants and, like, recreate the God of Destruction. Hi, Zig, speaking of. Over 11,000 years and it still leads souls to hell. Maybe it's connected to the deviltum. What are you talking about? But it doesn't matter now. The plan determined by Soa will drink everything to the last drop. Okay, bye. So clearly he's here before us. Which probably isn't great, and then I'm about to putz around for 30 years. Rose, what's that? When there were still winglies here, they used to suck souls from all over the world into that huge tower. So they could decide their destination of the souls. But why? You want to say it should have been destroyed during the dragon campaign, don't you? Both Aglis and Xenobatis were working, it shouldn't be that strange. But we destroyed this place completely, so that they could never play with the souls. But maybe this... Do the souls that couldn't completely die gather here? I don't like this. Whatever happens, as long as the moon is in the sky, we're fine. The Signet Sphere is still safe. Hurry up, we have to get there before Dad. Yeah, I am about to do absolutely nothing for, like, a long time, so... Not really. That's- that's your proposed amendment, Cheville, for the- for the remake. So this is what I want to do. This is the soul of Fairbrand, the Green Tusk Dragon. That's Fairbrand? It came out in response to the Dragoon Spirit of Albert. You said souls that couldn't completely die gather here. Is it the same for dragons? Yes, probably. The defeat by humans who were supposed to be less powerful than them became a burden on their soul. If we kill it again, we can probably break the attachment. But we don't have time to deal with them. No, we don't. I feel sorry, but... We have to catch up with Zeeg or the world will end. Yeah, but I'm not going to, though. It seems we tempted it into fighting with us. Is there no choice? We have no time. I'll cut your attachment now. <laughs> it's a terrible idea, therefore it belongs. That's fair. So yeah, um... This is Fairbrand. You'll recognize him when he turns back into a dragon. For some of his attacks like this. Um, big praying mantis boy that we fought on disc one. The place where Lavitz and then eventually Albert got his dragoon spirit. I mean, first it was Bram, but then it was Lavitz, and then it was Albert. Um, 
So I feel bad for him, my little dragon buddy who's just sitting here being sad. So, because of that and, you know, experience, we're gonna kill him again. Yeah, I mean, like, diegetic things having an effect on the game is rad. I love things like that. So you're not wrong. And I especially like it, like, kind of what you said, where, like, sometimes you can make changes and they're not to your benefit. You know? So like you said with, like, maybe it would cause the enemies to, to skip, um to skip like waiting and just take their turns constantly like that would that would be fun you know a fun little whoopsie no no it's not like darts the one whose additions i want to do don't, don't worry about it so fairbrand actually i should use the psych bomb um fairbrand shouldn't be that hard But they give a lot of experience. I feel bad for them, you know. Dort, could you stand up, please? So Maru is feared which I actually hate because that means she does half damage and I don't know if that counts for items as well which is why I cleared it before we did the psych bomb yeah I still have no idea what that percent is that was really good though Right, that's very true. Whoa, that was huge. Um, like, you gotta be careful that you can't... Like, if you can soft lock yourself like that, then you need to have a system where, like, if there's saves, there's, like, multiple saves, right? Because, like, Husbando and I just got the Platinum Trophy in Divinity 2, which was really hard and, and very fun, and we're proud of that. But one of the cool things that I like about Divinity 2 is that they have like five slots for regular like manual saves on everything except for the hardest difficulty. Um, and then your quick saves, there's also like five slots. So you don't end up screwed if you accidentally quick saved in a place that's also just going to keep killing you, right? So if a game has a system like that, then I don't really have a problem with having things in place where somebody could like kind of soft lock themselves by doing stupid things. As long as they have a decent chance of being able to go back far enough to fix it. <laughs> when you're a compulsive quicksaver, yeah. I wouldn't call myself a compulsive quicksaver. I, in risky situations, I might quick save every couple minutes, so. Oh, in Dragon Age Origins? Sad. I mean, I think most people have done it in games like The Witcher, right? Hey, fear didn't land on dart. That's nice. Yes. Whoops. <laughs> I 
and still didn't. I wonder if he has some kind of innate fear resist. Firebrand, you're like one hit from death, buddy. Okay, well at least it's Owl's turn. Owl's got very good damage. This should kill. Yeah, as long as we do the full addition. Oh, how poetic. Owl was the one to finish off his own dragon. And a downburst. I'll take that. Oh, finally. Finally. Cat's Cradle's kind of hard, though. Now the soul of Fairbrand is saved? Yes, probably. Let's get going. Okay, so we saved Fairbrand. Good dragon boy. Well, I wasn't planning on doing, like, all of these right now, but I guess we will. We're actually going to get the majority of the way through Mayfell then, I think. Oh, I didn't change the cat's cradle. Dang it. Mine's sparkling. This should be the soul of Rigol. It says kill me. He doesn't want to go to hell. Dart, it'll be over quick. Let's save him. Yes. I should have changed the cat's cradle. That's my bad. I've been asking for that addition for so long, I'm not used to actually having it, so I didn't even think to change. So Rigol, obviously, was the big sea dragon guy. Can't really see him in that attack. Um, he was the one who provided Lennis, the wingly, with her dragoon spirit, which Maru then took when we fought Lennis in the seaside cave. Whoopsie. God, Al is so strong. Hopefully this doesn't mess it up. If it does, we'll just be done for the day, but uh, I'm gonna special here. Try to get this fight over with quicker. Um, this game plays by straight opposites rule, I believe, and not like Pokemon opposites. So fire is the opposite of water, not lightning is the opposite. Yeah, I will show the dragon for sure. So level five dragoons get to summon their dragons, which is kind of cool. We've never seen Dart's dragon. And it, it again, does, does it look like a dragon? <laughs> kind of. Oh, he Newman. He's zooming. But yeah, that's that's big damage, obviously. <laughs> the dart. What the heck is that? I like its thrusters. Um. So, oh, Maru doesn't have enough MP. Uh. Well, it's okay. Al can give her MP actually, because Al doesn't have as much. Dragoon level she does, so he'll turn back first. Cause I wanna I wanna show Maru's as well. Assuming that poor Rigol lives long enough. <laughs> Rigol might not live long enough. There's your boy. And it's weird, right? Because like this is Rigol, the blue dragon, from which you get the dragoon spirit, and yet the dragon that you summon doesn't look like Rigol. You know, it's like kind of weird that way.
Oh, but Maru gets to go so fast. I actually, I don't think we're going to be able to show off her dragon. Because she's going to use her dragoon levels faster than Owl. Sadly. Well, we'll show her dragon some other time. Uh, so yeah, that uses all of your MP. So Dark can't summon again, sadly. But he gets his guaranteed Dragoon Edition, at least. Yeah, not nearly as good as the Dragon, sadly. Um... Al, didn't I give you... a hat that gave you more MP? Because 60 is what you're supposed to have, you liar. Gaspless. I love Gaspless, this is one of my favorite attacks. It is really strong, all things considered. Like, that did better than Dart's boosted Dragoon attack of opposite element, so... Man. Yeah, there's like no way that Maru is gonna. I'm just gonna use her diamond dust then. If Owl gets out of Dragoon before her, which I don't think he's going to, then he can just like moon serenade her. And as cool as these are, I'm sure you can see why you basically never Dragoon in a speedrun. <laughs> these attacks take forever for 192 damage. I mean, I guess they're the same element, so... Still. Laser eyeballs? Have we thrown the Psych Bomb yet? I don't remember. I'll check once I'm not a dragoon. Yeah, Dart doesn't have any MP, so sadly he can't use Final Burst. Because that's also a very good attack. So, like, Maru does have two sets of wings in the sense that she's both a dragoon and a wingling. but I don't think that her wingly wings are showing. Hey, I did it. Yippee. Yeah, 807, that's so much better than Diamond Dust. You <laughs> give me Butterfly Maru. I feel like Regol is one of the only dragons that truly looks like a dragon. You know, he's like a genuine sea serpent kind of thing going on. Okay, Al. Let's have you do another gas plus because that's a really good attack. 100% single strength target attack is like so, so nice. Most people's um, level 3 attack is only 60%. Yeah, no, his is really bizarre. And even... Even the one... Because we see... Some of these dragons we never see in the context of the game. Like, obviously, we see Firebrand. Um... Oops, too early. Um, we see Firebrand, like, for realsies. He's a boss. Um, we see Rigol, obviously. Um, things like that, but we also did get to see, in-game, the purple dragon. Remember? It was at Kazus. It was the one that they were sucking all of the energy out of to make their, all of their, like, tech. 
And even that one looked kind of weird, right? Which, I mean, I guess good on this game for taking a unique view of dragons. Because clearly they know what dragons look like. There are plenty of enemies that look exactly like dragons. Just like random enemies that look exactly like dragons. So kudos to them, I guess, for not just doing stereotypical dragons. All right, Maru, can we check real quick if we've done the psych bomb? We have not. Two twenty two, I think. Nice damage, jeez. Alright, Al doesn't have gas plus left, sadly. Wow. These are hard. Like, those additions are way harder than the actual additions. Yeah, I like these dragons in their kind of gooberish ways, you know? They're kind of weirdos, but they're endearing. Six, six, six. Oh, no. Okay, I have to change her addition when we're done with this fight. Oh, we get one of these even. This is a big attack. Dart's about to get wrecked. I mean, he has higher magic defense when he's a dragoon, but still. Oh, 320. That actually wasn't that bad. Alright, this might kill. Regal might have a smidge more after this. Kind of hard to tell. But it should kill him, I think. Oh, I thought it was going to do like 800. My bad. Yep. Thunder is the only one without an opposite element besides anything that's non-element. Just like gray. Because, like, enemies like, um, you know, virages and stuff are, are non-element. Oh, I didn't quite finish her addition. Sad. Oh, okay. Assuming we get a full gust of wind dance, this should kill him. This does a lot of damage. We did it! We freed another dragon! Such nice experience. Boy, Maru is, is quite behind in, in experience. I think there was some boss she was dead for, wasn't there? He says he's okay and he won't be overwhelmed by the power of Mayfell anymore. Hurry up! We have to catch up with, with Dart's father! She says to Dart. Okay, let's go. So Dragoon didn't mess up that fight, which is nice. Also, also, it's just about time for me to get lunch. What am I getting? I didn't want this. <laughs> just kidding. What should I get for lunch? I might just get Taco Bell. I don't know. I did not think that these dragons were before the other thing that I'm like trying to get to. I thought they were like interspersed. Anybody want to take a guess at which dragon this is? Thank you, Draco. Appreciate it. Is this the soul of the divine dragon? 
Even the King of Dragons has attachments after its death. It's because he's the King of, Dra of Dragons that he cannot get rid of his pride. When the Signet Sphere is destroyed, the moon will fall. <laughs> Why? The moon's still up there. Now's the only chance we have to save the soul of the Divine Dragon. Yes, we'll take the pride of the Divine Dragon. Oh, Arby's. I haven't been to Arby's in forever. Their jalapeno popper things are really good. Uh, we do... Well, okay. We have a Culver's. It's like 20 minutes away. Uh, and there's construction around it right now. But Culver's is also really good. Wisconsin cheese curds. And you get... Okay, so you get a Wisconsin cheese curds. And you get a regular chocolate concrete mixer with Reese's peanut butter cups and peanut butter sauce. That's how you do it. So yeah, we've got Divine Dragon here. He is genuinely non-element. Divine Dragon was one of the only enemies in the entire game. Like this Divine Dragon. Not even the actual one that we fought, but this version of him. Oh, we're doing Cat's Cradle, right? <laughs> Forgot. This version of Divine Dragon was one of the on only enemies in the entire game that actually almost killed Husbando when he played. He very nearly lost this fight. Because this Divine Dragon is, like, way stronger. I'm not from Wisconsin, Viv. But Culver's has Wisconsin cheese curds. Omno? I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> Culver's getting nasty with it. Yeah, like, just check this out. He just does this. Remember in the previous fight you had, like, a three-turn countdown and everything? This is the Divine Dragon Cannon. Huge damage. Basically no warning. And you can't even kill the cannon to stop that from happening, which is what makes this fight, like, so much harder. I have to remember how this goes. Those two are like ba-bam right next to each other. The one that we didn't get to. He starts getting Moonstrike. Hold on. Omno. Game, I guess. No, I didn't mean Omni. I meant Omno. The Divine Dragon Ball. Well, okay, just looking at the picture, this looks like my kind of game, you're correct. A single player adventure full of puzzles, secrets, and obstacles to overcome. This came out in 2021 and I've never heard of this. Looks like a little pumpkin guy or something. Okay. Oh, why would you have a counterattack there? Those were the two hits that I literally just said are like ba bum right next to each other. Why would you have a counterattack there? Um. Oh. Dirk, die Nutzung dieser Website erklärt du dich mit unserer Verwendung. I don't. I can't fucking read German. I could read German a little bit. I just didn't really, <laughs> didn't really try. Um. Why is it in German, though? I want the English one. The indie game Omno is a third-person adventure by solo developer Jonas Mang? Mangki? Take you through lush forests across the sun-blasted desert over a frigid tundra and the power of a lost civilization will evil carry you to the clouds. On the way, you'll meet strange creatures. Hold on. Gotta try to do Cat's Cradle again because Maru's the only person who gets to attack. Yeah, okay, I suck at this, apparently. Uh, on the way, you'll meet strange creatures, encounter many surprises, and maybe make a friend. 
Besides offering an interactive world, Omno challenges you with puzzles, hidden secrets, and obstacles to overcome in 3D puzzle platformer style. That sounds exactly like something that I would like. Okay, we simply need to just be landing more attacks because this fight is going to take six years if we don't. Schmeck. Divine Dragon Bull again. Yeah, this Divine Dragon is, like, way harder than the original one. Yeah, go! Don't be late! Thanks for hanging out! Have a good day. Okay, okay, okay. I... Like, part of it is because the screen is a little bit lighter than it's supposed to be. It's hard to see the boxes. But even still, it's not that hard to do this attack. I should be able to do Cat's Cradle. Yeah, that makes me happy if it's on console. That definitely sounds like something I would play. Of course, I'm going to play Snake Pass first because Viv got that for me. I think that's the plan, like, for immediately after Legend of Dragoon. We're going to try out Snake Pass. Oh, that counterattack there is really hard. Because she goes forward and backward, like, real fast, like, in, in quick succession. It's a really hard place to have the counterattack. Oopsie. And Divine Dragon Cannon with no warning. Yeah, 4,800 damage. That is utterly massive. Owl's health is like maybe 2,000. I mean, not necessarily, Shamil. I have certainly had trolls like buy me games that they knew were going to be bad and pointless and like I'm under no obligation to play them but if it's something that it genuinely seems like I would like then I would have no reason not to play it on stream a little bit right hey Kyle nice to see ya how you been Alternatively, of course, there's also the chat redeem to do, um, like, request a game. Buddy, if I could have a turn every five of yours, we could finish this fight. Um, there's a chat reward, like, chat points to request a game, in which case, like, obviously I'm the one who buys it. <laughs> Okay, despite being tired. I hope you get some rest. Whatever kind of rest you need. Mental, physical, whatever. And Divine Dragon Cannon. Again, you can see, I'm sure, why this guy is way harder than his predecessor. That seems like straight in the middle. Yep. Um, we've had game requests before. I had... Yes! I did it! Finally! 
Um, I had Alu request uh, Ridge Racer, obviously, because that's like the main thing that he does. Why, why did the game just get so loud? It get louder for you too. Uh, what else have we had? Oh, somebody requested Celeste, of course, and we finished that on stream. Um, I think it's still gonna be Maru here who's gonna do the Psych Bomb, because we haven't done that yet. Oh, the other reason that the Divine Dragon is so hard, by the way, um, if you recall the first time that we fought him, we had the Dragon Block Staff. And we don't now, <laughs> so... I have not played Edith Finch. I own Edith Finch. Um, I have played and completed the Unfinished Swan. Oh, Cheville! Thank you! I appreciate you. And enjoy your sub, villain! Have fun with Mort's. <laughs> yeah, Kyle, I still have to go back and get all the berries. I was very happy with my progress through Celeste. I felt like I did well. Um, and I'm not going to stress so much about like the seasides and stuff. Because to me, like... There's a fine line, and Celeste kind of walks it, between I want to figure out this puzzle and be able to say that I did this, and this is literally just beating your head against a wall on something really hard with very little payoff. And that's the difference, and I think they did well, because I think that that's the difference between the main game Celeste and, like, the seasides. You know, main game, I think, is very approachable and... I had to shut up in order to do Cat's Cradle. Um, I think main game is very approachable and like that's the right attitude for main game. But then like only for the people who want to do it, you have the much harder stuff. Exactly, like Celeste offers that challenge if you want it, but it's not like mandatory. Even in the same way that like White Palace is mandatory in Hollow Knight. <laughs> I found White Palace to be very hard. The thing with me, Kayo, I was finding a little bit with the later levels, but mostly in any of like the harder, you know, seasides and stuff that I tried. My problem was that... I didn't know it was coming. Oh uh, yeah, we got Cat's Cradle now. I just had to remind myself how it went. So like, there was one part where I didn't know what to do simply because I couldn't get that far. So it was like a repeating cycle where it was like, I don't know what's up there. I don't know how to set up for it because I, I can't see it, you know? I don't like being challenged in that way. Like having to immediately calculate what you're supposed to do. I like making a strategy and then trying to execute it. And that was what like main game Celeste was good at for me. Yeah, it is also true that I kind of tend to play a lot of games. Like, for both Husbando and me, we spend a lot of time playing video games. It's our main hobby. Not to say that we don't have other hobbies, of course. And Divine Dragon Cannon again. Um, but so it, it just kind of happens to end up that we've usually played most games that people try to recommend. Um, but yeah. I have- I have fairly broad tastes. The other small 
um, consideration is that there is a subset of games that I specifically haven't played only so that I can play them with Husbando. So, for example, and let it be known right now, I know I trust all of you and I like all of you, but let it be known, I will immediately ban anybody who tells me anything about this game in chat right now. Um, Husbando and I have not played Undertale for that reason, because we want to play it together and neither of us knows anything about it. We know nothing. We don't know people's names. We don't know if it's a happy story, a sad story, whatever. We don't know. Uh, so, like, if people want to request that, it's with the understanding that we would play it offline because husband and I want to play it together, you know? So that kind of complicates things a little bit. I always make that disclaimer before I even say the name of that game because I know that there's so many like fans and stuff that are just so excited about it that it's hard to like keep that contained and I get it but much like the the twist in the sixth sense it's remarkable to have made it this far in our lives without knowing anything about it so I want to keep it that way Because I made it to age, what, 23 or something before I watched The Sixth Sense or knew anything about it. And that made it like so much better. It was very nice. So I'd like to keep that energy going for Undertale, you know? But yeah, we've got a little shelf back here of games that we're working our way through. In general, you can count on puzzle platformers and the like, the things that you see me play most often, to be things that Husbando is not as interested in. He's not a big puzzle platformers kind of person. So even, you know, something like Horizon Zero Dawn or something, like he was happy to sit next to me while I played that and kind of watch, but it wasn't something that he was like, oh no, don't play without me, you know. But aside from Undertale, I'm thinking the only games that Husbando and I still have to play that we really want to play together are either the ones that are like on our shelves at the moment, which would be um, I can't see them all, but there's like Final Fantasy VII Remake is there. Um, Persona 5 Strikers and Royal is there. Oh, Shin Megami Tensei 5 is there as well. Yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn was fun. <laughs> Bond is so high maintenance. But like, for example, Heavy Rain. That's a good example um, of something that I would have an interest in playing, but that Husbando wouldn't need to be there for. Because I was just thinking about like Detroit Become Human. What are you doing, Mort? But yeah, I mean, you're always you're always free to ask if you feel like redeeming a game. Don't hesitate to ask. Whoopsie, I messed up. I know exactly what you're talking about, villain. I get ya. But yeah, similarly. I think too, for those who like RPGs, like 
even though I'm playing an RPG now and it's one of my favorite games of all time, I'm not super big into RPGs when I'm the one playing. I love them when Husbando's playing. Um, so like requesting an RPG would probably be something that I would do like, because if you request a game, you get two streams of it. And then I decide if I'm finishing it offline or on stream. Uh, like an RPG would probably be something that would be finished off stream. Mostly so the husbando could help me. <laughs> but yeah, like if somebody had requested Octopath, you know, that would have been something that husbando helped me with. But we ended up playing Octopath together and it was a lot of fun. You can always, always request Souls likes. I am always happy to play those, even though you almost never see me play them. One of my favorite genres of games of all time. I have never heard of that game villain. I have played the majority of the Ratchet and Clank, Clank games, actually. Um, I went back because they became available, a couple of them became available for free as part of the PS whatever dingus they have now. And um, I went back because I remembered them fondly. And for some reason, I don't know why, they were kind of making me motion sick, which I thought was really weird. Because it was funny though, because yeah, this fight is definitely taking a while, Cheville. Uh That's why I said like this is way harder than the original Divine Dragon. This gives a lot of experience, though. Which is why we're doing it. And because we feel bad for him. But... Um... It was funny because... When I first played Ratchet and Clank, I was playing it while I still lived with my parents. And Mom would come out... And, like, watch me. And I was fine with that, because it was, like, one of the only video games she would ever engage with. Um, but she said that it made her motion sick. And at the time, I was like, oh, well, that's weird, you know? And now it's, like, making me motion sick. Oh, man, Bloodborne. Love Bloodborne. Been thinking about going back and doing a Bloodborne challenge run. Like, Simon's Bowblade only or something. <laughs> Shafiel. No, villain, I... There's basically no topic or, like, subject matter to me that's off-limits. There are some things that don't resonate with me as much, but there's nothing that inherently, like, I won't play. I figured a Simon run would be fun. I really liked that weapon, but I think even if you try to blitz there as fast as possible, you still get that weapon, like, decently late. So I feel like you don't usually have very much time with it, you know? Yeah, this Divine Dragon fight is one of the hardest fights in the game, and it's just, like, a completely optional thing you can accidentally walk into. Uh, Maru, though, is gonna start throwing items, because this is taking a while. Whoopsie. That counterattack, I tell you what. So you can... You have to get to where he is, which is the DLC, which means you have to at least beat Amelia, right? I think Amelia is, like, the minimum to get to the DLC, but I don't rem How do you get to the DLC? I don't remember. You have to get picked up by the by the dude bro, I think. Um, and then you meet him when he's standing in a hallway and I think you could just kill him there if you want to, right? Like, you don't have to wait until he's beaten up in the shack. You can just beat him in the hallway. But yeah, I love Souls Likes. I love them a lot. Uh, similarly, I find roguelikes roguelikes to be sort of discouraging roguelites are better um yeah sure thunderbolt
just a item attacks do so much damage compared to what Maru is doing. So we're gonna try to speed this along. That's like five attacks from her. More like four, I guess. Love Metroidvanias. Love them so, so much. Absolutely adore them. The Grand Jewel, Draco. Oh, Faust is hard as hell. He's unironically the hardest boss in the game, for sure. He's harder than the final boss. Returnal was fun. I liked Returnal a lot. Um, we have the plat for it, but it's one of those games where, like, now there's DLC, so it's plat, but it's, like, 88% plat, you know? Um, but, I mean, it was fun enough that we... We're not the kind of people who just get the platinum in every game. Like, we choose the ones that we actually care about to dedicate our time to, and that was one that we that we liked enough to, you know, dedicate our time to, to do that. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> Yo, 819 though, that's good. I think we were just talking about Dragon's Dogma. Uh, we did just finish Divinity 2 Original Sin, the definitive edition. So good, one of our favorite games of all time. Uh, we just got the plat for that. Also, got that addition despite the counterattack. Is is there more than one Dragon's Dogma? Or is there just like one? Yes, I have played the Bloodstained games. We have the plat in uh R Ritual of the Night? Is that the most recent one? Those are like true Metroidvanias. Husbando really likes those. Which, speaking of, if you liked Bloodstained and you like Metroidvanias in general, check out um, Vigil. It's it's called. Hold on. Vigil. The Longest Night. I couldn't remember what the thing after the colon was. Vigil the Longest Night is like this hidden gem Metroidvania that we played and absolutely adored. And it's just nobody knows about it. <laughs> it's great. It, it, you definitely get the impression that it's, you know, not a AAA game, but we really enjoyed it. I have also never played Dust. No. I have had an interest in Dust, but I have never played Dust. And every year at the end of the year, I post on Twitter, we keep a list of all the games that we complete in a year. And uh, every year at the end of the year, I post it on Twitter. So you can always check out those lists for an example of things that we played. This year has been a big year for repeats. We spent a lot of time just kind of replaying some of our favorite games this year. Um, or, you know, we were getting the plat for Divinity, which required us to play the entire game an additional two times. One of which was, if you die, your entire save gets wiped and you have to start over. So that took like a month. Um, we st restarted Borderlands 2 with two new characters from Zero and got through OP10. Um, that took like a month. So we've had kind of a low year as far as new games are concerned, but a lot of revisiting stuff that we know that we love. Ender Lilies, yeah. Um, 
We own Ender Lilies. Is that one that you can do co-op? I can't remember. No, Child of Light is one that you can do co-op. We're hanging on to that one so that we can co-op it together. Ender Lilies has like a deceptively complex battle system, I think. This fight is almost over, I promise. We've seriously been doing this fight for like 20 minutes, but <laughs> it's all right. We're just having chill chat time anyway. A pellet, how dare you? So yeah, there's just so many games all the time. It's great. Like video games are great. I don't understand. I mean, to each their own, obviously. If you don't like video games, you don't like video games. But to, uh, to me, I can't fathom how people wouldn't like video games. Because there's so many different genres, it seems like you could hit something that that you like. And it's it's literally like watching a movie or reading a book, except you get to participate. And that just seems like such an upgrade. You know? Plus, you know, studies show things like people who play video games have have faster reaction times and things like that. Hey, Maru did it with a hundred damage. We've done it! Yeah, I mean, that was a lot of experience. <laughs> Plus we get this item as well, which I think is really good. I don't remember what it is though. Okay, well we're not actually probably gonna- eh, we might use the D-Stone Amulet. I'm gonna save though in case the game crashes. Don't want to do that again. <laughs> Again! No! <laughs> it's true. The... The people who say they don't like video games... Like, it's possible they're just thinking of, like, Mario and stuff like that, right? And they don't know, because they haven't played, what can be fully accomplished in video games. Okay. I think this is basically where we're gonna stop for the day. Oh, not quite. We're gonna... We're gonna do this little thing here. Give me a second because I don't remember entirely. Excuse you. I was on the right thing. Uh, we're gonna get through this, but there's a very specific thing that I want to do before we stop. What? That lit up though. Are you joshing me? So obviously this is a puzzle, like, it shows you what tiles you can walk on. Hey, I haven't really played Mario games, if I'm being completely honest. Hey. What is happening? Is this really the glitch that we're gonna get today? Okay, show me the one that it's very clear that it's safe to walk on. But it's not even going to do that. Okay. Um, mostly I just wanted the heal, please. Can, can I just have the heal? I don't need to talk to all the spirits. This soul... I think I know it. This warmth, that really brings up some memories. We will stop, Dad.
Wait for me. Yeah, I played one of the earliest Mario's. I don't even remember which one. Like when I was super, super young, like right alongside playing like Duck Hunt and then have not played another Mario game until Husbando and I played Origami King, which we played last year. I have basically no Mario experience whatsoever. <laughs> Don't think Dort needed a magic ego. But he's got a bell for it and everything. <laughs> he's got a big nose. He does. Okay, I just really want to make sure that I don't get this wrong, because I don't want to do this again. Bye, Mort. And I mean, to be fair, I thought Origami King was pretty good. Um, Husbando claims that a Thousand Year Door is like infinitely better, but I don't know because I've never played it. I mean, I'm assuming I've heard a lot of people say that Thousand Year Door is like really, really good. So. Oh, that mashing was godly. That was very good. Farewell, Mort. Yeah, I mean, I trust Hasbando that it's probably better than... than the one that we played. I thought the one we played was decently fun, so... it probably is a very good game. Almost there. Whoa, that was a little closer than I wanted. Let's just confirm that it is, yeah, the one in front of me and then the one in front of that. And then also still the one in front of me, right? Yeah. And then this one and then down, right? I'm not gonna do it until I know. Oh wait but we can actually just go to this one and then this one show me the one in front to make sure there's no other way that I could get over here but by god I don't want to fall it's not going to of course <sighs> okay we're through we're free <laughs> I hate that room we've come a long way but where's the signet sphere What's wrong? There's something over there. <laughs> no way. It is possible in this city. Lavitz! It's been a while, Your Majesty Albert. I knew it was you. Your Majesty Albert, I have the honor of seeing your face again. And Dart, while we've been apart, you've become strong. Yeah, since you left us, we've encountered many enemies. Enemies? That's why there are so many souls that know you. Souls that are attracted here remain with a variety of thoughts. That's why they're attracted by the Gate of Hell. Negative thoughts, like attachments, are the favorites of the Devils from Hell. And those Devils are driving Mayfield, aren't they? Rose, there are many souls who know you. Yes, there are countless. Lavitz, tell me, why have you appeared in front of us? Maybe, are you helping us out? Hold on, Mort is... Mort is being a, a goober. 
Flavitz is having a hard time. Don't come near me. Get out of here. He was talking about devils. I wonder if one of them is playing with his soul. What? I can't think of any other thing anything other than that. Unforgivable. So we're gonna end there. <laughs> I told you there was a reason that Lavitz was the art for disc four. He's returned. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call it there. Um, and this is in fact gonna be right right before um, the point of no return for this game. So like literally, we go through and we I actually just saved now, didn't I? Um, we go through we uh, resolve the situation with Lavitz, and um, then that's just. That's the point of no return, so. <laughs> Obligatory time travel. Alright, so. Who's streaming? Let me turn my captions off. So that we can see who's streaming. Uh, Flint. Oh, the no glitches allowed schedule reveal. We could do. But. I feel like we haven't raided Barry in a while. So, yeah, thanks for hanging out, everybody. This was just like a chill, fun time, which is always, always pleasant. So thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna toss you over to Barry. Say hi when you get over there. It's already two o'clock where I am, so I'm gonna get some lunchy lunch somewhere that's probably Taco Bell, if we're being honest. Uh, and I will be back next week. I'm not entirely sure yet what the schedule's gonna be, but we are gonna be doing some kind of, like, reptile enclosure stream. And it should be chill and fun and just chatty, so... We'll still do Legend of Dragoon, of course, and I would like to fit in a speedrun as well. So we'll see. But, say hi to Barry when you get over there. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!